Now, today's top stories and Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Now here's a look at today's top stories. Hello everybody, I'm Tracy Carlos. Strongsville police are investigating a possible murder-suicide tonight. Investigators say they were called to Cathedral Lane late Saturday morning where they found a man and woman shot. The man was pronounced dead at the scene. The woman, she died at the hospital. An iconic barn in Portage County went up in flames. According to Brimfield Police, the red barn at Dussel Farm on Forge Road caught fire Saturday afternoon. Brimfield firefighters as well as crews from neighboring departments worked to put the flames out. There is no word yet on what caused that fire. It is a busy weekend at boards of elections all across Ohio as they get ready for a May primary without state house and Senate races. That's because we still don't have new approved legislative district maps and lawmakers took no new action to make changes to the election deadline. The deadline to vote in the May 3rd primary is now Monday and early voting for the U.S. Senate and House statewide and local races and issues begins on Tuesday. Catholic Diocese of Columbus announcing today the Reverend Earl Fernandez will be installed as the bishop on Tuesday. The 49-year-old is currently a priest in Cincinnati and grew up in Toledo. The Catholic Diocese of Columbus covers nearly two dozen counties here in Ohio, including Tuscaroras, Holmes, and Coshocton. All right, let's get a look at our weather now with Ramisha. We've got a little wet weather to deal with for tonight, but the rain should mainly be light and we could have a little bit of snow briefly mixing in early Sunday morning. The reason temperatures will dip to the middle 30s tonight, climb to the middle 40s for Sunday afternoon, but there will be that small window for a light mix, maybe a little dusting early Sunday morning for a few of you. That's about it. We stay unsettled with a chance for rain basically just about every day for the next week. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.